Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we confronted Golbez about exchanging the Earth Crystal for Rosa, and then one thing led to another, and uh, Tella is no longer in our party, but now we have both Rosa and Kane in our party. Yeah, Kane came to, came to his senses, and he also came equipped with a full set of Mithril gear. I also gave him the Flame Shield to spread out the... Uh, the elemental resistance that provides because it doesn't stack basically so one piece of uh, defensive e equipment of a specific element is good you know if you get like the ice armor later on you can equip that on somebody and and also have them with the flame shield and they'll have resistance to both resistance to both elements so that's good and we got Rosa back she I took the liberty of equipping her as well, gave her the gold band and the priest robe that Tella was wearing up until uh, recently. Yeah, I unequipped the, the stuff before the he confronted Golbez and used Medio. If you uh, kept the Mithril staff from uh, the Mithril village that you can find there, you can equip that on Rosa and do a little bit more of a boost to her will to increase the power of her white magic, like her cure spells and everything. I didn't really buy. I didn't really think of that at the time, but if you want to keep that, that's that's not a bad idea either. But she'll be fine. She's got the priest robe equipped that also boosts her will. All right, everyone else is uh, all set. So let's get out of the Tower of Zot. You know, I guess we have to go back all the way to the bottom where we came in and return to our airship. So let's go and. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, somebody's there. So, you must be pleased with yourselves. You've rescued the girl, saved the Dragon Knight. Still, you lost the old man and Lord Golbez left with merely a scratch. And then there's me. It's one of Golbez's four emperors. Barbashia of Wind. Kane, you betrayed me. Us! After what we gave you? Why? We're both creatures of the sky. That rhymed. Barbashia, I did not betray anything except my arm. honor. To think I prevented Lord Golbez from killing you because of a weak human emotion. So I guess there was something going on between Cain and Barbashia. That's, that's interesting. You don't They don't cover that too much in the games, but... You know, that's... Oh well. It's a moot point, you know, he don't, you know, Cain had a thing for Rosa, so maybe Possessed Cain was feeling a little spiteful and trying to make her jealous. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. The old man with Meteo is dead. I'll send you all to your deaths. You're not the only one who can fight in the air. And it's time for a battle with the third of the Elemental Emperors, Barbashia of Wind. Alright, we want Cain to jump in this battle. That'll be the key to victory. Barbashia surrounds herself in a tornado. It makes herself uh, invulnerable. I'm going to wait for Cecil, for Barbashia to use her next attack. The fingertip, which causes a gradual petrification. Then I have Cecil cast Esuna on whoever she inflicts with that. And I will have Rosa do some healing on whoever gets hit by the tornado spell. And Cecil, uh, keeping Cecil at high HP is key in this battle because he defends people that are injured. So when they're hit by tornado, he'll take he'll take damage for them as long as it isn't him. So, carrying on. All right, defend Rosa. Yeah, when she's in the tornado form, it, she's a lot harder to hit. She's about to do that, I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, just... Okay, I don't think Kane's doing anything yet. I'm gonna hold out for uh, the tornado Esuna, or fingertip combo. Alright, here we go. Okay. Esuna on Kane. Oh, right, come on. Okay, now jump. After your petrification is healed. 
he won't be on the ground to uh, receive healing, so, oh crap. Alright, well, I'll heal Sid in the meantime. So it's probably not going to be able to do much damage to her. But yeah, see, Rosa's got a lot of uh, healing power compared to uh, Tella. Alright, who's going to... Alright, going to do uh, Esuna on Young this time. Yeah, the target is blocked by the wind. You have to use the jump attack to dispel the wind. And then when she turns back, she automatically does a counter attack with some physical attack. Let's do some healing. Uh, do it on Kane. I probably should have healed Sid, actually. See, Cecil just took the damage for that one. It was a pretty heavy hit, too. Alright, just unload on some physical attacks. This battle can be pretty difficult if you're not careful. You know, luck is a big factor in some cases, depending on who she decides to go after. Alright, I'll heal up Sid this time. Young will build up again. She's about to go back into her twister form. Yeah, I can tell everything's kind of slowing down. There she goes. Okay, I'm going to hold off until she does her thing. There goes Tornado. It's on Sid again. As long as it's not Cecil, I don't care too much. Alright, Cecil. Essen on yourself. Yeah, I said just defend. You're probably gonna miss. And then I'll have Kane jump on his next turn. Here we go. And Rosa, you need to heal Cecil. If Cecil's in critical health, he can't protect anybody else. So just defend for now. There we go. Crap. That's not good. And he's also the one that's petrified. And here comes Kane. Uh, okay, not Cecil, not Cecil, not Cecil. Okay. I... Well, Rosa's not much better, though. Alright, heal Cecil. And Cecil, Essen on yourself. Yeah, this battle can be pretty intense. She's got to be really close to being finished. I think we're getting there. Alright, physical attacks from Sid. I'll heal up Sid real quick too while I'm at it. Alright, Sid lands the final blow. Barbara of Wind has been defeated. That's three elemental fiends down, only one to go. And victory! That's that's a decent amount of guild there. You know, 1800 experience points. Sid gained a level. Kane, it wasn't supposed to end this way. The last of the four emperors still lives, but you'll never meet him. Die along this along with this tower. <laughs> Uh-oh, this isn't good. There's a lot of shaking, a lot of rumbling. Whoa, boy. I take it this place is dropping out of the sky or wherever it's from? The, the tower is falling apart. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to do an old man voice with that Sid thing. Hold on to me. We're all going to die. And Oh, she knows teleport. Wait, you knew teleport all this time? Why, why didn't you use that, like... Like, you know, when Golbez and Kane weren't looking or something. And we warped into Cecil's room. So is this how you've always been uh, slipping into uh, Baron Castle at night when you wanted to see Cecil? Like uh, we did in the beginning of the game. It's a little creepy, actually. Cecil, are you sure this is the girl for you? She's kind of stalkerish. Just a little. But we're safe. That imposter king is dead. Cecil, there's something I need to talk to you about. Okay. Uh, need to take a load off. What is it, Kane? 
It concerns the crystals. The crystal from Troya was taken, which means he has all the crystals. No, he only has four of them. Wait, what? So four isn't all of them? So the rumor is true! What rumor? It can't be. What rumor are we talking about? Right, the crystals of darkness. Okay, that rumor. That rumor that we've never heard about until just now. Okay. Anyway, carry on, Kane. Or Sid, whoever wants to explain it. There are four crystals on the front side of the earth. So there are crystals on the reverse? The crystals of darkness? Right. Most importantly, it means that Golbez only has, has only half of the crystals. So the crystals of darkness aren't a rumor. Here's an obvious question. Where are they? Golbez knows where they are. Well, where are they? We must hurry. Where are they? On the opposite side of the face of the earth. Literally, the underground. Okay, so we have to go underground. <laughs> Do we dig a hole or something? That's not too far from the truth, but we'll get to that when we get to it. I don't know. At any rate, Golbez said that when the crystals from the front and the back of light and darkness are all gathered, the way to the moon would open. Okay. Way to the moon? I'm not quite sure what that means. But apparently this item could be useful in our quest. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, he's... So basically... What is with bad guys in this game and giving keys to members of our party that are temporarily working for them? I mean, Young was working with Baron for like all of five minutes in the game and they gave him the key to Baron, which let us get into the castle in the first place. And now Kane has this magma stone, which is apparently our key to getting to the underground. We don't know where to go though, but the key fits someplace. What are you worrying about? We've got the Enterprise. We can go anywhere on the Earth in a moment. Okay, but wasn't that at the Tower of Zah? Yeah, what, exactly, what Cecil just said. Kids today. Always underestimating us old folks. I told you it was the latest model. Oh? I put a remote controller on it. It's sitting outside of Baron. I, I don't know how to respond to that. That is one of the more uh, absurd qualities of the story to the Final Fantasy IV. I love this game, and it has a much better plot and storyline than Final Fantasy V does. And, you know, it, but you know, there's moments like this where it's like, okay, it's yeah, I'd, uh, just 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 go with it. We have our airship. It's as if nothing ever happened. I get a feeling that they originally planned for a slightly different sequence of events, but. I don't know, time restraints or something made him do it this way. That's just my guess. I don't know for sure. Then it's decided. Sid, you're really something. Aren't I, though? We'll leave tomorrow morning. Can't search for entrances to underworlds without a good night's sleep. Well said, Sid. Well said. And something's wrong with Cecil. But why didn't Golbez kill me back there? Who is he? He's the bad guy. He's the evil, dark wizard that looks like a knight that's you know he's got four elemental emperors and he's collecting the crystals to get to the moons for some reason and and uh but no it's nothing let's go to bed all right guys clear out me and rose i have some catching up to do and all right let's go next time on let's play final fantasy 4 we will take the Enterprise and go exploring around the world, see if we can find a place to put that magma stone. This has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.